the scene kicks off with a woman getting brutally murdered by some mysterious stranger. Ava and Nathan Bartlett are a couple from L.A. awaiting their first child amidst crumbling marriage. Nathan, a tennis coach, finds himself demoted to coaching five-year-olds, while Ava, a murder mystery enthusiast, works as a real estate broker, harboring sexual fantasies about her clients. They share their living space with Ava's sister, Tori. Their household plumbing issues lead plumber Matt Pierce to their doorstep. Nathan strikes up a friendship with him. One evening, while out at a bar with Matt, Nathan engages in some flirtatious banter with Chloe Lake, a bartender who later meets a grisly demise in her apartment as we saw earlier. Media outlets Chloe as the newest victim of the West Side Ripper, a local serial killer preying on young women. When the police discover the similar shoe covers found at the crime scene belonging to Matt, Ava, a devoted true crime enthusiast, pieces together that the West Side Ripper is none other than plumber Matt. Instead of alerting the authorities, Ava suggests to Nathan that they launch their own podcast to interview Matt. Though initially hesitant, Nathan confronts Matt on a secluded beach, accusing him of being the West Side Ripper while Ava observes from a distance. A flashback unveils Matt's act of killing Chloe after stalking her for some time. In the present, LAPD detectives tail Nathan to his tennis club, questioning him about Matt, given their presence together at the bar that fateful night. Nathan becomes Matt's alibi. Matt accepts his past and agrees to their terms and the trio records the podcast, which Matt dubs, based on a true story. Matt and the Bartlett's head to CrimeCon a true crime convention in Las Vegas, aiming to promote their podcast. Their rivals, the Lipsinki sisters, feature Dahlia Stone as a live speaker, who claims she survived an attack by West Side Ripper and has since started a charity. During the panel, Dahlia recounts her tale of surviving the West Side Ripper, which deeply embarrasses Matt. He denies all of Dahlia's claims, calling her a liar, and then he confronts Dahlia directly on the rooftop balcony of their hotel, revealing her lies. Meanwhile, Nathan and Ava explore the convention booths and unexpectedly bump into their friends Ruby and Carlos. Later, they grab dinner at the hotel bar, only to witness Dahlia jump from the rooftop balcony, plummeting to her death. At CrimeCon, Matt dives into selling West Side Ripper merchandise and crosses paths with Susie, a TV writer intrigued by the West Side Ripper. Meanwhile, the Bartlett's rekindle their love in their hotel room. The following morning, the Lipsinki sisters organize a memorial for Dahlia Stone, but Matt disrupts it by hosting his own event next door. Here, guests get the chance to meet the real West Side Ripper, as Matt, speaking through a voice changer from a remote location, confesses to pushing Dahlia off the roof. He asserts that Dahlia's survival story is fabricated and her charity is solely for her own benefit. Ava attempts to confront Matt about this, but becomes lost in the crowd and accidentally drops her burner phone. Later, Ruby discovers the phone and reads the messages wherein Ava accuses Matt of Dahlia's murder. After Matt's attention-grabbing stunt at CrimeCon, based on a true story experiences a tremendous surge in subscribers, propelling the podcast to newfound American fame. With the Bartlett's anticipating a substantial payout, they attend a lavish dinner auction at Simon and Ruby's sprawling Hollywood mansion. Matt makes an appearance at the party, accompanied by Michelle as his date. Fueled by his podcast's popularity, Matt's ego swells, leading him to contemplate committing more murders to generate fresh content. Meanwhile, Ruby pulls Ava aside and reveals the burner phone left behind at CrimeCon, expressing suspicions that Matt is the West Side Ripper. Later, Ruby blackmails the Bartlett's, insisting on a cut of their scheme. As Ruby and Simon navigate an open relationship, tensions rise, culminating in a heated argument between Ruby's boyfriend and Simon. The confrontation escalates, resulting in Simon tragically killing Nathan's dog due to its incessant barking. As Jessica Alba's tweet criticizing the podcast and its underlying violence gains traction, subscribers plummet rapidly. In response, Matt proposes implementing a tiered subscription model, offering a premium service with a monthly fee. Seeking distraction from the turmoil, 
Matt and Nathan head to a bar to play darts, but tensions flare once again over the Matt's need for fresh content, leading to a heated argument escalating into a physical altercation. Later, Nathan attempts to mend his strained relationship with Ava by purchasing the beach house in Malibu they've always dreamed of. However, Ava's reaction falls short of Nathan's expectations, and their disagreement persists. Amidst their ongoing argument, a sudden knock at the door interrupts them. Opening it, they are met with the shocking sight of Ruby's lifeless body lying on the welcome mat, a blue dart protruding from her neck. The Bartlets find themselves in a tough spot, needing to get rid of Ruby's body. They turn to Matt for assistance, who decides to leave the decision to them as a challenge. Nathan proposes disposing of it in the sinkhole at the tennis club. While going through Ruby's phone, they discover she had already contacted the police and planned to turn them in. Determined to act fast, they head to the tennis club at night to dump the body. Meanwhile, Matt convenes with a group of fellow serial killers on Zoom to discuss expanding the podcast based on a true story, with spin-offs about other notorious killers. The season concludes with Simon unexpectedly arriving at their beach house while the Bartlets are grappling with cleaning up Ruby's blood.